From Washington, this is the TV News.TV for June 10th, 2011. Brought to you by the Turner Alumni Mega Celebration, happening in Atlanta on November 12th. For information and registration, search Turner Alumni Group Celebration on Facebook. Hello, I'm Jeff Grimshaw. First up, let's play a little game of thumbs up and thumbs down with Eric Mackerlin as he delivers the Sports TV News. Thanks a lot, Jeff. It's good to be back after a few weeks away. Number one story and thumbs up for Scott Van Pelt from ESPN was revealed this week in the Washington Post that Van Pelt had given some advice to University of Maryland basketball player Jordan Williams on his prospects for going high in the NBA draft. Jordan Williams told the Washington Post that Van Pelt was basically integral to him making that decision to leave school. And Van Pelt probably got into a little trouble behind the scenes at ESPN. Quite honestly, I don't think this is a big deal. This happens all the time in business where an alumni of a university will give some help to a younger kid. Some folks, you know, I guess getting a little uh, concerned about, you know, Van Pelt's uh, conflicts of interest here, but I don't think it's a big deal. Thumbs up to Scott Van Pelt. He should have been left alone on this. Number two story, thumbs up to the BBC. For the first time ever, they're going to be uh, broadcasting the championships at Wimbledon in 3D. It's going to be actually a big deal. They're going to be not only on the BBC, but at the BBC Online and at a chain of movie theaters across the nation. It'll be a very, very uh, big deal for tennis, and I'm actually kind of sorry that I'm not going to be there to maybe take some of that in. I just have to put up with my 2D HD on NBC, but still thumbs up to the BBC. And finally, a big thumbs up to Mark Lazarus, and perhaps an apology of sorts from all of us here at the TV News. As everyone knows, Dick Ebersole left NBC Sports a couple of weeks ago, which led a lot of us to erroneously believe that NBC was out of the running when the Olympics. But we couldn't have been more wrong, obviously. Lazarus and NBC came in with a bid over $4 billion and won the next four Olympic Games. And we have to probably close on this quote. Asked what it was like to do the Olympic bid without Lebersol, Lazarus said, I've never been here with him before. Bravo, Mark. You certainly showed us. Ah, truer words were never spoken, Eric. We will be right back after this word about the Turner Alumni Mega Celebration. Saturday, November 12th, the Turner Alumni Group Celebration happens at the Hilton Atlanta. All Turner employees, past and present, are invited to join special honored guest Ted Turner, host Bill Tush, plus all of your Turner colleagues and pals for a mega event that's been three and a half decades in the making. For information and registration, head on over to the Turner Alumni Group Celebration page on Facebook. Well, all right, we've got a viral video alert for you. It's been all over Facebook. Yup, it is the one and only NBA graduate I Love Cats eHarmony Girl video. Have a look. So I am a recent um, NBA grad from Villanova. Um, I love cats. Um, I just... Sorry, I'm getting emotional. I love cats. Um, I love every kind of cat. Sorry, I just, I really love cats. And I just wanna hug all of them, but I can't, cause that's crazy, I can't hug every cat. <laughs> but I just want to, I want to. I want to, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I get, Anytime I hear cat, I just, I love cats. Um, ooh, I promise myself I wouldn't cry. Um, so anyway, I am a cat lover, um, and I love to run. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about cats again. <laughs> I just, I think about how many don't have a home and how I should have them and how cute they are and the other ears and the whiskers and the nose. I just love them and I want them and I want them in a basket. Well, all right, there's no doubt that this Mensa candidate is racking up tons of views, but there is doubt as to the 
veracity and authenticity of this video. Is it really on the up and up or is it a video designed to go viral by eHarmony? Well, we sent eHarmony press corps an inquiry and so far we haven't heard anything back. We'll get back to you on this if and when they get back to us. Future events and opportunities brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice, get the best price. Get Dude at DudeWalker.com. Monday, on the next edition of the TV News, we break a big story about one of the very first to hit the broadcast sub digital airwaves, and they might be in a little bit of legal trouble. You know, Father's Day is coming up fast, and it's still not too late to get your favorite daddy some swag from the TV News Store. Click here on the TVNews.tv, or you can get to the store via our Facebook fan page. We would love to spread your message to the entire industry via a sponsorship right here on the TV News. To get the ball rolling, email us at advertise at the TV news TV. And finally, if you've missed any recent editions of the TV News, you can catch up in a flash in our archives. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you very much for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day. <laughs>